Welcome to another lecture on engineering graphics. Today in this lecture we will learn about projections of lines. Okay, now we will discuss case 4 of line. So let us read the statement. A line AB is 40 mm long. Line is perpendicular to horizontal plane. Endpoints A and B are 30 mm in front of VP. Endpoint A is 15 mm above HP. Draw projections and trace of line. So let us understand this case through the pictorial view. So over here, let us see what is the quadrant given to us. He says in front of VP above HP. It means again the line is in the first quadrant. So pictorial view of first quadrant is shown over here. Now let us place the line. So we are given one line AB and uh, over here it is written that it is perpendicular to HP. So it is shown perpendicular to HP. And uh, next in the statement, uh, it is mentioned that both the endpoints A and B are at 30 mm in front of VP. So both the endpoints are at 30 mm in front of VP. And it is mentioned that endpoint A is 15 mm above HP. So distance of A from HP is given, which is 15 mm. So this is the position given to us. So over here we can say this is case 4 where line is parallel to vertical plane and uh, it is perpendicular to horizontal plane. So if line is parallel to vertical plane, on vertical plane, its image will be a straight line of true length. And uh, if it is perpendicular to horizontal plane, then its image on horizontal plane will be a point. So let us see these two projections now. So we have projected the endpoints of this line AB onto vertical plane. So we will get their front view. Uh, of these two endpoints on vertical plane. So when we will join these two views with the help of straight line, we will get the front view of this particular line. And you can see this is a line of true length. So we denote front view of a line by small letter A dash, B dash. After that, we will draw its top view. So when observer will look at the line from top, he will see only a point. So let us project both the endpoints of the line and onto horizontal plane and we will get only one projector and we will get the image of this line as a point which will be called as top view of the line. And uh, when we will look at this line from top, we will see endpoint B first. So what we will do, we will write B outside and uh, we will write A inside the bracket. So the meaning of this is that endpoint A of the line is below endpoint B when it is looked from top by the observer. Now uh, over here you can see that front view of the line is above the top view or you can say top view of the line is below the front view. And one more important point we have to understand that is the trace of the line. So over here is saying line is perpendicular to HP. So if we will extend this line, it will intersect horizontal plane. So we will get horizontal trace. And uh, one more interesting point we have to note over here that when we will extend this line, it will intersect its view only. That is top view. So top view itself will be called its horizontal trace. So we have seen uh, case 4 in this uh, pictorial view. So let us understand how to represent this case on paper. So as we know that uh, whenever we are solving any problem on projections of lines, we first have to identify the quadrant. So first step is identify the quadrant. So from these two words, in front of VP, above HP, we have identified that quadrant is first quadrant. The second step is that we will draw uh, the quadrant on the paper. So how we represent first quadrant on paper? We draw reference line x, y and space above reference line is mentioned as vp and space below line is mentioned as hp and we will write vp hp with gothic letters. Now third step in projections of lines is that we should pick that point first about which maximum data is given in the quotient. Now you can see over here uh, data of both the points from VP is given to us but uh, from HP the data of only endpoint A is given to us. So it means maximum data about A is available in this statement. So we will plot the different views of A first in the third step. So in order to draw different views of endpoint A we will first mark a reference point on the line. We will call it as small letter A0. 
So now let us read the data about A. He says endpoint A is 15 mm above HP. So we have to plot this distance on the opposite plane that is VP. So where is VP? VP is over here above reference line. So we will align our scale with this reference point in vertical position and from this point we will draw a continuous thin line of 15 millimeters and we will mark the end of this particular projector as A dash because it represents the front view of point A because it is drawn on the vertical plane. For the second data about A is that it is placed at 30 mm in front of VP. So we have to plot that distance on opposite plane that is HP. So where is HP? HP is over here below the reference line. So we will line our scale with the, this particular projector in vertical position and from the reference point we will draw a continuous thin line of 30 millimeters. As this end is on the horizontal plane, so this end of the projector is representing the top view of point A. So let us denote it by small letter A. Now next fourth step is we have to judge the position of uh, the line. So over here it is mentioned that line is perpendicular to HP. So we will represent this perpendicular line on opposite plane that is on VP. So where is VP? VP is over here. So what we will do? From endpoint A dash, we will draw a continuous thick line of 40 millimeters, that is of true length. And we will mark the endpoint of that line B dash. So this will be called as front view of the line AB, marked as small letter A dash, B dash. Now, why we have drawn true length over here? Because it is mentioned that endpoints A and B are 30 mm in front of VP, means line is parallel to VP. So on VP, we have to represent its view as a straight line of true length. So on VP, we have represented its view as a straight line of true length. But over here, one very important point we have to understand that line was given perpendicular to HP and we have to plot that perpendicular line on opposite plane that is on VP. After that, we have to plot its top view. So let us think about its top view. In the pictorial representation of this case, we have found that when we will look at any particular line from top, then we will see a point. So over here, he is saying that line is perpendicular to HP. So on HP, its view will be a point. So we will mark this end of this projector bold and that will be called as top view of the line. And when we look at this line from top, we see B first and A is below B. So we'll mark its top view as small letter B outside the bracket and A should be inside the bracket because A is below endpoint B. And next, in this case, we have to find the trace of line. He says line is perpendicular to HP. So we'll get its trace as HT. Line is perpendicular to horizontal plane, so we'll get horizontal trace. But in the pictorial view, we have seen that when we will extend a perpendicular line, it will intersect the plane and its view, that is top view itself, will act as a trace. So after this, we'll mark its top view as its horizontal trace as well, capital HT. So we have drawn its projections and trace. Now we'll place dimensions. So we will mention 15 millimeters. After that, we will plot this dimension of 30 millimeters. And then we will mention the true length of the line. And you can see we have placed these dimensions by following the rules of chain dimension. I hope the fourth case is also clear to you.